but look, bro. Is this is this comment right here from Deji Gates forty six sixty four content leech? All right, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Content leech. Slow your roll, bro. I don't think he did his research behind the channel. This is a. This is a reaction channel, bro. I'm not gonna crash out. I'm not gonna crash out. I'm not like jacking the people's videos, bro, and like not giving them the credit. Cam gets his credit all the time, bro. I forgot the other dude's name, but he always gets his credit. You know what I'm saying? Jamari, I'm about to react to one of Jamari's videos today. You know what I'm saying? He gets all his credit, bro. I give everybody their credit. I ain't no goddamn leech, nigga. Don't ever try to call me no fucking leech, bro. You don't call Saluminati a leech. You don't call Fly Reacts a leech. Hell, you don't even call Agent a leech. Agent literally watches Tommy G every time on stream, damn near, bro. Hop off my dick. Is it because I'm a small creator, niggas be on jump on my dick? Hop off my dick. Dr. Disrespect and his admission to inappropriate behavior online. Back in 2017, the Twitch god himself not only cheated on his wife and family for that matter. That shit's still as crazy, though, bro. I have a, a beautiful family. I didn't even know that, bro. And kid. And I want to be transparent that I've been unfaithful. But he was also chatting up someone else who was not of age. This resulted in his banning from Twitch. No one knew exactly why he got banned at first, including himself. Mm. And for four years now, it was a secret that was essentially locked behind a vault. Mm. But now NDAs are expiring, and you have whistleblowers who used to work at Twitch, as well as high-ranking people in his now former gaming studio he co-founded, saying there were bad enough things going on in the background to terminate this. This is a statement from me personally. It does not reflect any of my companies and has not gone through any legal or PR approvals. If you inappropriately message a minor, I cannot work with you. Period. I pro oh my god, it's always some fucking minor shit, bro. This man. I'm so not now many shot, of bro. his former friends and colleagues have spoken out. <sighs> oh, bro. Obviously, I have a relationship with Doc. Uh, played golf a lot the last year. Um, come on, man. I mean, it's pretty much common sense how I feel about that. I've got a daughter now. I don't think it it takes so wait like so wait did he cheat so is this is this pretty much like revealing why he got banned previously or what this is i don't know just I don't to know. understand that i don't support talk like they just people. recently unfolded i'm thinking people they just think recently they unfolded like the story of why he got banned I, I don't even know the guy outside of a wig we took one picture together and newsflash he was in a wig you know, it's clear that he really did live up to his name, disrespecting everyone from his family, to his community, and even himself. Well now the situation has taken yet another crazy turn, as someone else has come forward with their story regarding Doc I didn't think he was- I didn't thing. think he was- I thought he was just like a regular like, one of them like, um, just a fun creator, you know what I'm saying? I be seeing him watch, like, like going hard on words on like, he's a real like- I can't play that long on Warzone, bro. I can't lie, bro. You got me for a max 30 minutes to an hour. Until then, you're not seeing me on Warzone like that, bro. He's really, he's really playing that shit. Like, he's really a mascot of that. You know what I'm saying? And he was a Fortnite OG. I remember him too, bro. He was one of the Fortnite OGs, bro. I didn't look up to him as... I didn't look at him to it like, like, like that. I look at him like that. You know what I'm saying? But really, Tifu was my guy at Fortnite, if y'all want to know. Tifu was the guy at Fortnite for me. Some people won't say myth. Era. And so nah. tweet was actually posted as a reply on an already viral tweet about the initial allegation regarding the underage person. Where this individual comes forward to say, during that time in 2017 when he was cheating on his wife with not only me, a trans worker, but also another woman. Wait, wait. <laughs> wait, wait a minute. Wait, hold on, bro. Hold on, bro. Just like... J they don't ever just spend me my fucking child like that ever again, bro. They don't ever do that, bro. Trent with Trent. A tr oh, my God. I don't think I can even say that on the stream, bro. He cheated with his wife with a Transformer. Hmm. That's a very interesting choice. I do want to be completely transparent in saying these messages could be like digitally doctored, but the person would have to have some serious skills in computer graphics. Now I guess this is just their way of showing that these DMs did come from the legitimate Dr. Disrespect Twitter page, 
As you okay. guys can see at this time, the doc actually had this person blocked. Okay. But for those of you that aren't aware, when you block someone on Twitter, that doesn't mean the DMs just disappear, and that other person will still have access to them until they decide to delete them on their end. Okay. I also want to be clear in saying this person okay. likely deleted some of their replies to him on this message thread, but it doesn't really change the overall meaning of these messages. So it starts where he says, oh stop it. We have to assume that this person said something to provoke that response. And they say, hi doctor, how are you? Photoshoot tomorrow, too nervous. To which he says, well, 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 good luck. I'm gonna try to get some sexy cosplay images. Then after I can punish you. Oh yeah? This has gotten way too freaky. You tell him you got the about to punish you, bro? First it was already freaky with the bro. It was already freaky. Let me stop saying that, bro. It was already, it was already kind of swishy-washy with the with the transformer the transvestite however you want to be the label you know what i'm saying the the i don't know the venn diagram oh man how so don't know have to get a good strategy we shall see no, I haven't to seen which it. doc replies ha huh. i've seen the and thumbnail by the video yet. i'm gonna tell i'm gonna click on it afterwards than one because he's gonna try to go through the discord i'm still waiting it. Yeah, I'll think of one soon. Overwhelmed packing for tomorrow. Not sure a smooth black leather or latex. Don't know. And he says, nice. Feel like releasing one right now. I can imagine you. Let's just keep going. Guys, Let's know just what keep he's going. talking Let's just keep about. going. Let's just keep going. I have to assume that this person had sent Doc some sort of picture here. Mmm, yummy. And he says, should I let go or hold on? And I'm gonna let you. This, this should tell me everything I need to know, okay? 42 years old, okay? When's his birthday? March 10th. So he just recently turned 42, okay? So let me think. 42, let's take a Let's wind it all the way back to 2017, all right? He's in his mid-30s. He's in his mid-30s. Run that back. He's in his so mid-30s. Because he says, I'm still waiting. Yeah, I'll think of one soon. Overwhelmed packing for tomorrow. Not sure a smooth black leather or latex. Don't know. And he says, nice. Feel like releasing one right now. Mm -hmm. I have to assume that this person had sent Doc some sort of picture here. Mmm, yummy. And he it definitely sent the nude. I know that for a fact. It definitely sent the nude. So, for your response to be, mmm, yummy, you want some real freaky shit, yo. And I'm gonna let you guys use your imagination there. Actually, I guess you won't have to, because they say, let it go, spray it out. And I guess the doc did, because it took him a whole 10 days later to reply, allegedly, where he says, I need something. What do you need, doc? I'm sure you have all these e-girls ready to serve you. LOL, no. Lies, uh-huh. No way. You gonna watch my explosive intro? Let this is still 2017, by the way. 35 years old. Or 36, I don't know. You gonna watch my explosive intro? Yo, what, what? That's what we call sex, that's what we call nut videos now, bro? We call that, we call them explosive intros? That's crazy, bro. And was he with his family all the time? He was with his, he was with his, his kids and shit, right? Like, bro had a whole, like, he got a family going now, bro. He's talking talk about explosive intro. This is, this is, for me, it's shocking. Some people aren't shocked. For me, it's shocking, bro. Shit like this shouldn't be going. Oh, this is definitely, oh, this is like around prime Fortnite. So he definitely had like a, like a, a younger audience too. So, oh man. Like at this point, no pun intended, you almost have to respect how much this guy really sticks to his bit. Because even in these alleged nasty DMs he was sending, he's still speaking like he would speak on the stream. The goddess must be worshipped from head to toe before you can explode. I want the rewards. Couple days later, he sends her a little 2.55 a.m. message. They say, hi, hun, how are you? Daddy, you need to shout me out and spoil me, thank you. Yeah, that was never gonna happen. A month later, he says, just to add you on Snap. And then he also appears there to share his username. And I guess this is where connection was cut, which was also probably right around the time his wife found out he was cheating with someone else. Where they say, miss you, doc. Thanks for unfollowing, stranger. And then like eight months later, they say, are you going to PAX East? To which I guess the doc at this point was like, I got way too lost in the sauce. And he decided to block this person. This is where what appears to be Skype DMs also come in. 
as you guys can see these are also dated back in the 2017 era oh, and man. these get even crazier so he says i had to watch one more time we can assume <laughs> they had had some sort of little video session i tried to snap you did you delete your account yes okay feels bad sorry i would try to video chat you soon i'm heading to the gym gotta get fit but don't be a stranger message me sometime you gotta get some photos sent your way to which he allegedly replies i mean i'm gripping now I get no bitches. I'm not really in the DMs like that. Ain't no way in hell I'm gonna be talking about some. I'm talking about some. I'm gripping right now in the messages too. This is seven o'clock, seven p.m. too. It's not even midnight. He's talking about I'm gripping. I'm gripped up right now. Boom. I mean, Doctor Freak for real, true, bro. This is literally Doctor Freak. Issues. Nice firm grips while I worked out. Yum. And I guess this is where the Twitch partnership talk comes into play. Hey love, do you know anyone you're close with that could see if they could get me a Twitch partnership? He replies later that day saying, hmm, I tried. They are pretty locked down right now. Focusing on popular games and impact of streamers on those games, unfortunately. I kind of stopped playing mm. games and been doing IRL. I guess they say they're trying to see where one month doing that gets them. And they also mention here they're getting a Twitch partnership. Wait. Cause I'm a grinder. Oh 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 oh. Y'all need to put that sound board on, bro. Why is he not talking about this first message, bro? Hope all is well. Have fun at work. I'm stuck with the code. Oh, I'm reading it wrong. I was, oh, I was, I guess I was in freaky mode. I kind of stopped playing. Again. I've been doing IRL again. Is very oh, he's trying to get that partnership. And the funniest like. part here is after all that, his response is any new peekaboos? <laughs> this shit is so corny, bro. Like, this shit is so bad, bro. This is a 30, 35, 36 year old man. And then to add more fuel to this fire, because the internet is forever, this person also had tweeted out back in 2017, you know, around that same sick era. Met this handsome legend at Dr. Disrespect at TwitchCon. I mean, I don't... Oh, this, this is the bit? This the bit? But she's... Nah, man. Nah, man. That's a Transformer, bro. You can't fool me. Yes, I did. Yes, I did. Yes, I did. Yes, I did. I did see Barney go to the Lakers, and I'm very happy for that. I'm very happy with the Lakers organization got going on over there. You know what I'm saying? If this season goes wrong, this is very off topic. If this season goes very terrible... Cause it's really in, there's no really there's no in between with this, okay? We got JJ Reddick, we got LeBron on another three-year contract, and we just signed Bronny. We can either go dumb and make a deep run into the playoffs, or Rob Polinka needs to get fired. There's no in between. I don't know what was going on with that year. But the doctor was apparently just wilting on a whole nother level. And of course, <laughs> no, now crazy. that this person has this come logo, forward, man. you have it's a lot scary, of people though. saying, well, why didn't they speak the like before? Oh, they must just be looking for attention. And I mostly do agree with that. This person is like... No, bro. No, 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 no. I got my morals, bro. I got morals, bro. Trying to capitalize that was a man. That was a man. Not going for the it, situation bro. to get some people to migrate over to their Twitch stream or their little dirty side or whatever they might be doing. But two things can be true at once, and to me, it really just shows that this rabbit hole is getting a little bit. How y'all feel about Barney at the Lakers right now? How y'all feel? What's gonna jump out next? He went second and round with it too. Where well, I expected reckless, that, and so out of control that he went on his personal Twitter page. He went on his personal Twitch. And was chatting people through those platforms. That's how stupid he was. What you mean? Like you would think if you're gonna move like a degenerate, you would at least have a better game plan than that and try to cover some of your bases. I don't know. I just think the whole situation is crazy. I'm pretty sure at this time he was already like. Yeah, I already know it. See, and it's freaky like, man. Dude, you have this beautiful. Freaky man. Wife. And I'm saying, look, your wife bad as hell, bro. No disrespect. I'm st I'm taking down your wife, bro. Real shit. You like fucking with transvestites. Like fucking with transvestites. Now that's OD. That's OD. That's OD. That's OD. I ain't gonna do all that. 
and you're allegedly doing all this dirt in the background? It's just crazy to me. My brain truly cannot compute how someone with so much to lose oh, could make these man. mistakes over and over again. This nigga but is I wonder 32 what you guys with think the kids, about this. bro. I feel like there's more to come. Do you think he will still be successful as a streamer? I mean, this might be... Oh, that was... Oh, uh, nah, you know, no. Situation. There's no coming back from this, bro. There's no way he come back from this, bro. I see... Bro, it's so many content creators that, that fall into, like, the whole child... Child... Child weird shit trap, bro. It's not even a trap, bro. They just fall into it, bro. Like, this be, like, some popping content creator. They just fuck around like kids, bro. It's weird. It's a weird trend. But <laughs> I'm not with it. <laughs> I'm not with that shit. Don't